Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. At 2 p.m. on this day, March the 14th, 1908, a massive explosion rocked downtown Natchez, totally destroying the impressive five-story brick building that housed the Natchez Drug Company. Constructed in 1891 on the site of the old Masonic Lodge, the imposing structure originally home to the Temple Opera House and a new Masonic Lodge and of several other businesses. But in 1904, John Chambliss purchased the building and established the Natchez Drug Company, which served as not only a drugstore or pharmacy, but a large manufacturing facility. To ensure the success of this company, Chambliss purchased state-of-the-art equipment include a gas-fired laboratory located on the fourth floor. On March the 14th, Samuel Burns Jr., a local plumber and member of the Natchez Volunteer Fire Department, was called to the company to investigate a possible gas leak. Burns entered the basement with a lighted candle and set off an explosion that destroyed not only the drug company, but two adjacent buildings. The blast even damaged several nearby homes as well. The explosion also claimed the life of 10 employees and bystanders. Among those were five girls aged 20 down to 12. And as a memorial to the employees who lost their life in this horrible explosion, Chambers erected a monument to their memory. And today that is called the Turning Angel Monument at the Natchez Cemetery. Hi, I'm Larry Holder. I'm a pharmacist. I have Wilson Holder Drug in downtown Natchez, one block from the Natchez Drug Company. This has been a Natchez History Minute.